Hey guys, it's Candace Cruz for Red Carpet Report, and I am at Nalip, and let me tell you, there have been some amazing, amazing, talented Latinos that have walked this red carpet tonight, and you won't want to miss any of their interviews. Candace, nice to you? meet you. you. Thank you. You look oh, amazing. Goodness. I mean, you looked amazing at the Vita premiere as well. <laughs> I mean, congratulations, number one, on the award that you're receiving tonight. How such a big honor. You know, it, it is an honor, and I think I am just one piece of this giant pie that is Vida. And I think that I just get the opportunity to make this speech because the award and the achievement really goes to Vida and to every single Latinx queer woman that allowed it to happen and to a network like STARS that gave us the award. I'm completely honored that I get to kind of be the little cherry on the cake that like, you know, present is presented it, but it really, really goes to every single person in the cast and crew, writer's room and in the network that really did it. Well, you all really are trailblazers and especially with the, the climate of what's going on right now, your writers are really involved with One Day at a Time as well. You all have done a partnership, correct? Yeah, it's 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 a perfect example of how it's important for us not to feel like we're competing for the same slot because there's no there's no need for that anymore. There I want to live in an idea of abundance where there's going to be enough for all of us. And if we stretch the space as far as we can, then there will be enough for all of us. And I think that uh, Gloria Gloria is Calderon from mm -hmm. One Day at a Time. She has just been such a huge influence on Tanya and being able to give her the mentorship that she needed for this. And they're really in the, the com companionship. And there's just something really incredible. And then I really want that to really be a beacon as to what where we can go. Well, I love the female empowerment that your show exemplifies, and especially within the Latinx culture. And you're getting awarded tonight by Melissa. How amazing is that? It's it's the best because it, it was really it's I couldn't have done it without her. She couldn't have done it without me. Like we needed each other, and I just I'm so excited that we get to share the stage together and and just honor honor what the opportunity that was given to us. Well, thank you so much for talking to us and enjoy tonight. Yeah, thank you. It was wonderful you. meeting you again. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below and let us know who your favorite Latinx in Hollywood is.